Hello everyone and welcome to the Gamepad Report for August 2022. We're here after a little break giving you the updates for Gamepad and the My Meta Universe. I'm the My Meta co-founder Nigel. And I am Taddy, a content creator and Gamepad host. And for those that don't already know, Gamepad is our community event and platform promoting inclusion and diversity in the video games industry. So we run online and now, again, real world in-person events. We host regular discussions with games professionals and give young people an opportunity to gain valuable work experience. Uh, so we were just talking about GTA 6 um, going woke, apparently, um, and E3 going at all so if you would like to hear uh, those discussions in the full gamepad report video become a studio 77 member or join us live for our recordings to get the extended report plus exclusive access to events and my matter artwork let's get started with this month's industry pro tip and each month, we like to highlight advice that has come from a creative professional that has been brought up in a gamepad interview, a panel, or often on our Story X Story podcast. So the tip from this month comes from the podcast, and specifically uh, Sarah McClintock, who is a costume maker and cosplayer. So we had a chat with Sarah on episode 109 of the podcast. So you can check that in the show notes, episode description, wherever you are. We had a good chat about her journey into the world of film and TV, making costumes and her love of cosplay. I picked out something that I feel kind of resonated with people who are just starting out in the industry. And let's not be honest, uh, us as well, definitely myself. Uh, it's a question of money. Advice. Yeah, it's all it's all for us, uh, really. So, yeah, we were talking about money, and it's often a tricky subject. Uh, again, particularly if you are new in an industry. So she said, particularly for new people starting out, that you feel inadequate about your skills, and you feel too fresh and too green to ask for more money, and that's the kind of thing that you have to deal with. Know that you have to talk yourself up and be like, no, you can ask for more money. So this is a whole thing to me about recognizing your worth, like your value and your skills and being able to be confident enough to ask for what those skills, uh, those values are worth. What do you think about that, Tazzy? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. I feel like you don't even have to be new to asking for more money to be difficult. Because uh, good old imposter syndrome yeah, <laughs> just lurks yeah. around and uh, makes you feel like this constantly. And I think it can be a lot easier if you have a physical object to like price that because you can think about like the, the physical cost of the components mm. that have made it up, uh, the cost for shipping. Like these are very like tangible things you can price up when it comes to like your creativity it's like how do you price that even if you can price the time sometimes that's not enough because it might be something that takes you like not long to create or not long to think of but you have to think of the value to the other person as well yeah and the value to the world mm -hmm. <laughs> like what how what is that adding value to are you the only person that can do that the way that you do it are you the only which you are, by the way, you are the only person that does it the way you do it, by the way. That is like something I have to constantly tell myself is like, there might be other people that do this, but you're the only one that's doing it your exact way. <laughs> so, man, I'm giving myself a pet talk here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... <laughs> uh, again, it's all for us, really. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I, so I love this piece of advice is what I'm yeah. saying. It's like, I'm all here for it. Um, yeah, me too. Yeah. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's a tricky one. It's an ongoing one, especially in creative fields. So yeah, this no quote on advice. your wall, like, for sure. I'm actually, let me go do that now. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you to Sarah. and encourage people to check out the full episode uh, where, yeah, like I say, there's lots of advice in that. Um, whether you're a costume maker or not, 
So if that advice resonated with you, then definitely check out the full episode and subscribe to the podcast for more discussions with amazing creative professionals. Uh, so Tazzy, what have we got coming up this month? So Gamepad Online is coming back in person. And yes, Nigel had the same reaction that you probably just had hearing that. <laughs> so we're working on a new format for our Gamepad Online event coming to you this winter. We started the online event in 2020 after the pandemic and brought a bunch of events to the My Matter Twitch channel. Yay! <laughs> like what we're currently recorded on um or if you're watching this on youtube go over to our twitch and then you'll make sense you'll get it yeah <laughs> it, will, it will make sense the pieces will fall into place gamepad online is where we bought the friendly esports competition format as well as a series of interviews with video games professionals from around the world and we're now looking at bringing a new Gamepad Online event from a physical location. So it will still be an event that you can watch from the comfort of your own home, but brought to you from a live studio-like environment. Uh, so you will also have the opportunity to be in the audience uh, for those that are near the location that we're gonna do it in, uh, for the filming, to watch the friendly esports competition live, and meet our industry guests uh, and be able to put your questions to them in those interview segments. So definitely looking forward to that. So if you've seen our gamepad online live streams before, you get the format, but we're going to be doing it live. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, with like people in person playing the competitions, that should be fun. Yeah. Uh, also, can we get some of those signs that say like, laugh, cheer, oh, yeah, cool. yeah. sigh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, all, all the classic studio stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to uh, kind of like make that uh, in-studio uh, live event. Yeah. But, uh, I'm, I'm excited for that one. Unless you've been living under a rock or just never heard of us before now, you probably do know about our campaign, Do I Look Like a Game Gamer? This year, we launched our Do I Look Like a Gamer campaign promoting diversity and inclusion in the video games industry. So you can follow us on social media to see the photo campaign and meet the 40 people showcasing diversity in video games. You can now share the story of how you got into video games and be part of the campaign. Record and upload your own video message on Twitter, Instagram or TikTok and tag MyMadder on social media with the hashtag look like a gamer. Uh, this year's campaign is proudly sponsored by Rocksteady Studios and Splash Damage. And we've done a few events as part of this campaign uh, done so a few far. Events. Yeah. And, this and year. other things. But yeah, we had our mm -hmm. cupcake and gamepad social uh, a month a month ago. I don't know what time. It was so. last month yeah yeah last month and month before Thanks. that we had our friends and family game design jam that was really cool even though uh to watch from afar and then earlier getting in you year, wasn't actually there yeah, yeah was, <laughs> just my presence was felt um so it's been cool we've done it's been uh people who are at the launch will know it's something that's been uh literally years in the making because of the pandemic but it's coming together and the response has been really cool so we had a good time at the events we've got more events to come so more announcements at future gamepad report videos yeah what's been your highlight of the campaign so far mm, that's a good question i think the the easy answer is the the samsung uh, event so the event we did at samsung kx in king's cross in london i think just having because we've done other events for other people early in the year like the bfi we're at the french institute but i think it was good to see like so many people come for us like because those other events were ones that we did for other people whereas this is like people were all there for us so i think that was really good but then also like some of the individual stories of you know parents bringing kids or grandparents bringing kids and just being like oh, okay i know more about the industry or I'm, I'm more excited i have more aspirations so those individual stories as well 
Yeah. Oh, nice. How about yeah. you? Um, so obviously it's very, very easy to say the cupcake and gamepad social. <laughs> and it's absolutely not because we had cupcakes that I can yeah, eat. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't even mention that. <laughs> which is obviously a great event like if you if you were there like you'll know like it was amazing energy i think my highlight of the campaign so far is that i've i've seen i've got to see and meet people that are really keen in uh, getting either getting into the video game industry or they're already on their journey and just like how can they really uh, make the most of that journey and I think the highlight for me is like literally me meeting such young children already knowing that they want to work in the video games industry but also having like the parents and family and guardians around them to support that and that for me is like amazing there's definitely like three standout like parents or guardians that have like really been involved in that journey and really been excited to learn more and maybe not understanding as much before coming to our events but then witnessing our events and seeing the impact and being like i don't understand it but there is good energy here and i love this and that's just great i'm just loving seeing the support of parents and hopefully um in the future we can do some more more to uh yeah. get to talk to those parents and help myth bust specifically for those parents and guardians we might have something for you next month so maybe stick around. <laughs> um, but yeah no I, I like that i like that definitely so looking forward to bringing more of those moments uh as we roll up the campaign for the rest of this year uh and uh into next uh, as well so as well as the campaign, we also have our monthly games night. So we got to play Halo. We did a whole live stream on Halo. We and finally got there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it um, went pretty smoothly. It did go pretty smoothly. So thank you for that. And um, this month in August, we will have uh, another games night where we'll be playing Multiverses with a studio of 77 members live on Wednesday, the 31st of July uh, from 7 p.m. BST. So, again, a game I've not played. Uh, I was, I've got it downloaded. I'm like, should I play it or should I just play it the first time on stream? I think I'll I'm play just it the first, play time, first time, time on stream. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's there. It's there ready. Um, so yeah, check out another edition of Introduce Nigel to a new video game, uh, Wednesday the 31st of August. <laughs> uh, so we have our results from not last month's poll. Um, the month before the, the month, month yeah. before <laughs> yeah because we've we've uh, missed a few but um the previous month's poll result are actually you should probably know the question first should developers stop making cross-generation video games and last place is current generation only uh it's time to move on to the future no one no one voted for that i think that's saying something <laughs> Give it another year, another 12 months, then we can switch to current gen, gen only, had 33% of our votes and stick to cross generations. Previous gen players shouldn't be forgotten at 67%. You know, if you do want to still discuss that poll, we can, we're always up for discussing things. In this month's poll, we are asking you, can GTA 6 still deliver the satirical experience it has become known for? Uh, so with reports of Rockstar cleaning up its corporate culture and a change in creative direction, will the studio be able to produce the kind of satirical experience GTA series has become known for? So we did have a discussion in the full gamepad report that a studio 77 members can access uh so we're, we we want to know your opinion uh on if it can still deliver so your options for the poll are yes you can be satirical without juvenile humor and no trying to be woke is going to ruin the series i'm unsure but i expect to be offended either way uh, voting is live now and the results will be announced in september's gamepad report video what are you voting for 
Nigel on this one? Um, I think they can. I think they can upgrade the humor. Not to say that I necessarily had a problem with it, but I think they can go in a new direction and still deliver on a well done satirical gaming experience. The question I have is has the world moved beyond satire because we just live in a satire that is yet <laughs> yet to be seen but i think they can do it mm. i feel like my vote is unsure but i expect to be offended either way yeah. <laughs> not as a bad thing yeah. uh, i don't think being offended is always a bad thing <laughs> yeah you know i i agree that's a controversial that could be taken as a controversial opinion but i, I actually agree. yeah i i think personally I think a little offence is okay. Yeah, sometimes you need uh, to hold the up. Yeah. If you're, if you're walking through the world never being offended, then you're never having your beliefs challenged. And that sounds like a very uh, non-progressive way to live life. <laughs> yeah, I and that. I'm all for change. So yeah, I, I expect to be offended because I expect it to point out some things. Like you said, Nigel, hold the mirror up. Also, maybe like just offended by not having the same opinion as other people. That's, I mean, that's going to be that as well. That's going to be tough. Like, <laughs> um, so I'm also okay with that. But yeah, I expect to be offended either way because if it's a GTA game, I should at some point be offended by it because uh, yeah. otherwise it's not doing its job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we expect it. Also, it just depends on what mood I'm in. Like. You know, if I'm feeling really vulnerable, then they might, I don't know, take the mick out of content creators. And I'll be like, how dare you? Yeah, and at the yeah. same time, that's so true though. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just feeling vulnerable at that moment. So I'm like, how dare you highlight my insecurities? Oh my God. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. Long term, I'm okay with it, you know. Yeah, but I'm expecting to be offended anyway. Okay. Oh, but we'll also see. a bit of yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, little from column A, little from column C. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, that does it for this month's Gamepad Report. Uh, so you can join our Discord at any time and follow us on Twitch as well to be part of the growing Gamepad community, especially with some of the events that we have coming up. We're generally working to inform and demystify the industry and culture through our events and our discussions as we work to make it more inclusive. Uh, so make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well so you don't miss another Gamepad Report video. Uh, and if you are available, you can join our live recordings on Twitch so you can see all the stuff. Uh, you basically see how the sausage is made. Uh, and there's a lot of there's casings on the floor uh, there's bits of like sausage meat everywhere anyway um, yeah so this, join this us is like that. a handcrafted factory not like one of yeah, those fancy yeah, also all made uh, ones yeah, yeah. It, it looks like a murder scene but it, it yeah. comes out <laughs> also I feel like all our staff are like hung over or something because yeah. it's <laughs> we don't know yes. So yeah, yeah, can, you can come and enjoy, join us for that uh, and enjoy that experience. And last but not least, check out the Story X Story podcast where Tazzy and I have more creator interviews where we get a lot of our advice from, uh, video game discussions and deep dives into stories across pop culture. So that is all from us. We will see you again next month. Hey there, I'm Nigel from My Matter. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other great videos we have on the channel. You can also join the Gamepad Discord and check out the next event at gamepad.events. We'll see you soon.